All right, I'm currently working on the uh, knife sheath. And I'm only going to put one on. I know the painting that I was looking at, or the picture I was looking at, had two, but I'm going to only put one. Um, I think I don't want to clutter up my piece with a bunch of uh, stuff, even though it may be factual. I'm taking artistic license here. Time to play with some clay. I need to put a armature for the handle. Now I took a fondue stick and split it. Because I need to have a form for the blade. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see how this is all rounded here? That's so the uh, knife sheath takes in the handle as well as the blade. And so I'm putting this form into the... Uh, Now she to give it shape. <coughs> Folding it over. I just need to blend in this to the uh, other half of the uh, flat piece of monster clay that made the uh, sheath. I just need to now figure out the length with a knife and I'm going to go that long. This is the uh, belt that's going to be going through the uh, knife sheath. And what I'm going to do is they didn't have a loop on this type of or style of uh, knife sheath. They had a hole in the uh, flat part of the knife sheath that the belt would go through. The uh, belt was actually held tightly against the person's body so it wasn't flopping around. It's a good design. Now I cut this section of the belt to match the width of the belt I've already got. Now, just got a couple more details to put in. Okay. Okay, now put the belt knife on. paint it and see how it looks after I get done painting it. All right, I'm going to start working on his uh, shirt. And uh, there's just so much I can do about his hand until I get a rifle in his hand. So I'm just going to 
kind of sketch in the shape of the hand. And the uh, shape of his arm so I can do the shirt. Now this is the end of the sleeve and I've got a little fringe on it and I've tried to cut it in ahead of time so that it would go around the sleeve or the wrist I mean. I decided to put the fringe going down his arm. I think I'm just increasing the cost of casting this by a lot. Alright, this is the last thing I'm going to do today. 
I'm going to put the uh, paint on the fringe. I just hope this isn't too much. I guess it kind of reflects the theme of the whole thing is the wind. If you've ever lived out west or any place in the world, I guess, you get a lot of wind, but especially up in the mountains, you get that downdraft. And that's what he's dealing with as he's going down the mountain into the valley. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time. I hope you have a great night. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.